This morning, a winter storm warning is in effect for several counties across western New York. Erie, Genesee, Wyoming, Chautauqua, and Cattaraugus counties all under the warning until 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And right now, we're tracking the lake effect snow and the strong winds impacting our region. Yeah, and of course, with any lake effect system, it is a story of the haves and the have nots. Storm Team 2 radar is showing that lake effect system is to the north of the metro area. The Grand Island Bridge visibility is low. Meanwhile, Niagara Falls and downtown Buffalo still pretty quiet. The system is out of the south towns right now. It's moving north, but we're not done with this system just yet. Thanks for joining us for this special edition of Sunday Daybreak. I'm Pete Gallivan. And I'm Melissa Holmes. It's been over 36 hours since the strong winds, snow, and cold really started. We've got team coverage this morning, but first we want to start with what's to come. And Storm Team 2's Kevin O'Neill is in the Weather Center right now tracking all of it. Good morning, Kev. No surprises so far. Everything is acting like we thought it would, and now we expect the following. Again, I, I joked online, a band on the run. It is going to be movement with this lake effect snow band. Sort of, I guess, good news spreading out the snows and not one area uh, particular getting pounded. Although, so of course, we do have a snow map ready to roll and it will be southern Erie County and parts of the southern tier that end up with the highest amounts. A uh, lake effect band on the move, treacherous driving in spots as uh, again, uh, winds weaken tonight. Uh, tomorrow, more snow for Erie County. The winds will weaken so it won't push the snow as far inland, but we're not out of the woods tomorrow uh, with some lake effect snow. And then all week, really below average temperatures are anticipated and wind chills, you know, around zero, even sometimes with wind chill below zero. Make sure the kids are bundled up for school uh, Tuesday through Friday this week. Uh, lake effect off all the lakes, not just us, uh, Superior, uh, Michigan, Huron, Ontario for our friends in uh, Adirondack area, Watertown, and for us, as you can see, Lake Erie is fired up and ready to go. 40 degrees above average temperature. So uh, right now the wind is pivoted to the uh, more to the southwest, which pushes pushes the bands uh, farther to uh, the northeast. So it is north of Buffalo for now, but it is expected the uh, you know the, the seesaw is going to move the other way, and eventually this axis of snow will move its way across Erie County, and the winds are strong enough to push it into uh, Genesee and into. Wyoming County as well. So there are the current temperatures right now for your day to day temperatures in the 20s. Lake effect snow, Buffalo and suburbs in the morning and again some areas of treacherous travel. Even if it's not snowing, we have enough snow on the ground now for blowing snow and wind gusts up to 45 miles per hour today. Wind chills approaching uh, zero degrees. Temperatures in the single digits. Uh, our chief meteorologist Patrick Hammer has been observing from uh, from uh, Weather Center South in Hamburg. Patrick, good morning to you. Hey, good morning, Kevin. Uh, yeah, weather center, weather center South is uh, snowy, but we got a little bit of a break, I will admit, uh, overnight, as you showed that snow band um, lifted to the north, but it's coming back. I will say, like many of you to the north experienced yesterday evening, it was treacherous down here last night. Complete whiteout, travel near impossible. Of course, the travel ban went in at nine o'clock, so nobody's traveling now anyway but a little bit of a lull. We've had about hmm, six inches of snow here. I'm sure many of you saw that uh, kind of viral video that the bill sent out of what the conditions were like at the stadium last night. It was crazy town with uh, the wind and the snow. Again, we're getting a little bit of a break, but as Kevin mentioned, and as the radar shows, there is a shift south that is expected as we go through the morning and that snow is coming right back for uh, areas like Hamburg, West Seneca, East Aurora, and of course Orchard Park, which is of course why the travel to and from the stadium and of course the weather conditions potentially during the game is why the game was eventually postponed to Monday. Anyway, conditions here in uh, Weather Center South are quiet, windy, a little snowy, but more is certainly to come. And uh, we'll uh, check in with Kevin with that future look forecast as we head into next week that's coming up. All right, very good, Patrick. Thank you. And we'll check back in with you at your live location from your home coming up in a few minutes. Thanks, buddy. 
And right now, a travel ban is in effect for Buffalo and Erie County. That travel advisory in effect for Genesee County. Yeah, and uh, of course, an empty truck and trailer ban is in effect for all major routes across western New York. But if you are an essential worker, which includes healthcare workers, police, fire, EMS, utility crews, and public works employees, you can be on the roads if you are permitted to drive. We do have a live look of some of the major roadways. This is the thruway at about the 400 and 219. Actually, that's the Grand Island Bridge is headed toward Tonawanda. Uh, it looks like right now the Lake Snow Band is going to be headed uh, back into the city at some point. There is a travel ban in place. Skyway is closed because of the winds itself, not so much the snow, but the high winds. Now, something else we don't see very often, the Peace Bridge to enter the U.S., is closed right now because of that travel ban. Now, normally on a holiday weekend, we would see this border crossing, crossing backed up with traffic, but this morning, all is quiet right now at the Peace Bridge. Lots of blowing snow right there, though. We should be getting an update on all the traffic bans from the governor's office sometime this morning, and we will share that on air and online as soon as we learn more. And with the high winds this morning, power outages are a concern. NYSEG and National Grid have uh, response teams in place ready to restore power. National Grid tells two on your side that it has about 1,500 line workers on standby to clear down trees and repair electrical equipment. Right now, National Grid reports 125 customers without power. NYSEG reporting just about 28 without power, a far cry from the 75,000 customers who lost electricity during last week's windstorm. We'll get an update from both utility companies later this morning right here on Daybreak. And Bills fans are going to have to wait a little longer for that wild card game. The game is now postponed until 4.30 tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, Governor Kathy Hochul made that announcement yesterday afternoon that the Buffalo Bills home playoff game against the Steelers would be postponed. A lot of people pushing for it to go to Atlanta, but we hear the governor actually pushed to have it stay here in Buffalo. And Channel 2's Lindsay Moppert has the details this morning. Good morning, Lindsay. Hey, good morning. After consulting with the NFL, New York Governor Kathy Hochul announced that the Bills and Steelers playoff game would now be moved to Monday afternoon due to some pretty evident and harsh weather conditions expected over in Orchard Park. Of course, the game was originally scheduled to be in that one o'clock slot on Sunday afternoon. But again, over everything else, Hochul said that the decision to reschedule the game was made in the best interest of public safety. It's all part of our critical efforts to keep New Yorkers, motorists, and fans safe from this wildly unpredictable storm. So again, kickoff on Monday now is scheduled for 4.30 in the afternoon and of course will still be held over at Highmark Stadium. So of course, we'll keep you up to date with all of that and any other Bills transactions as we get closer to kickoff. But for now, on your side here in the studio, I'm Lindsay Moppert, Channel 2 Sports. A lot of people think the Bills are going to benefit from this, too, oh, now that yeah. it was postponed. It's Absolutely. And with that uh, change in the Bills game, the Sabres have also moved their Monday game to an earlier start. The matchup against San Jose will be now played at noon instead of one to avoid any conflicts with the Bills. One Buffalo doubleheader tomorrow. It is 638 right now and 24 degrees out there. This is a live look at radar. You see it very clear that lake effect snow band north of the city right in Grand Island and Niagara County right now before it starts to make its way back down. We'll have the latest on the forecast with a special edition of Daybreak coming up.